can explore their um, sexuality based off the depictions of this book. Now, many of you have seen Tim Anderson's posts and Vicky Manon and many more about the graphic images in this book, which shows minors engaged in sex acts. And in some pictures, it looks like grown-ups engaged with minors um, in these type of acts that are obscene, which was ruled to be obscene by the Virginia Beach Circuit Court. Now, what's more alarming? Now it's a club where kids can have unfettered access to each other. You're probably getting a different name of this club than here in Genderqueer because it will alert the senses that something ain't right. So it's probably covered up in some innocent name that you would just think is a regular club after school based off of extracurricular activities that are approved for education, not for sexualization. Um, these groups actually participate in these acts and are encouraged. And not only am I disgusted about the schools promoting this, and anyone promoting this, that the groups have administrators, that's what they call them, grown-ups, supervising while this happens to no liability, civilly or criminally, for their actions and participating because the schools have became immune by saying that certain acts does not need to be reported. No wonder it doesn't need to be reported because if you the schools, you have the discretion on what you consider uh, uh, overt sexual act compared to what it is. You are encouraging and grooming our kids. That's why I brought up that part about it's starting to be not okay for our kids to go to school and just be normal or straight unless they accept gay policies or agenda. You should not be forced to be anything that you're not. That's one thing we should agree about. Another thing we should agree about, adults have no business employed by the school or otherwise promoting, watching, supervising, and not interfering to stop it, but instead there just to make sure things go smoothly. What do you think is happening in the gender queer group? The club, this movement, what do y'all think? Looking at the pictures up there. And to make it worse, when I asked, was acts that are sexual done in this group and does the administrators try to stop it or is there something to say you reach too far? No. You do what you want. It's about kids finding their sexuality. See? This is what Democrats approved of. This is what also some in the GOP voted yes for. Regardless of the situation, if there's going to be transsexuals in the school or those of uh, different sexual orientations, their focus should not be on who they're having sex with. It should be on a education, period. You can find yourself and be yourself as you go along that process. You don't need a grown-up saying, this is who you are, and this ain't normal. And then you don't need a grown-up supervising sex clubs as after school programs. So instead of after school programs, learning the craft, uh, playing a sport, um, doing something constructive with your life, our kids is learning how to have sex, different types of sex, and it's being done by taxpayer funded dollars. Yes. I'm gonna say which high school I know because it's not enough just for me to just say this is going on and just be a little bit evasive because that's exactly what they do. We discovered Bayside High School and Virginia Beach has this club. So I want you asking your kids. I want you asking them. Even those as early as elementary school. Is gender queer book in your libraries? And the thing is, you'll be shocked at how many kids know the book is in there, regardless of who they are. That says a lot. That says a lot, that they know what the book is. Imagine what they've seen in the book.
And then after school, do y'all have a gender queer book club or fan club or social club, whatever you want to call it, uh, whatever you want to call it? The answer is going to shock you. It shocked me. I reached out on the day of primary. I didn't care whether what was going on with Canada Day at that point because I had a question I needed to ask because it was serious enough to affect a lot of people's decisions. And nobody, even from this parent groups and more, had ever heard about Gender Queer Club. And now, mind you, we're on top of all of this. So we get information from different sources. So somebody should have heard about this one. It was that secretive to the point these groups that are on top of it didn't even know about it. That's what's going on in our schools right now. This is how our kids are supposed to be prepared for the future. Knowing that adults have spent more time giving them my education in the adult industry, their education and what they have to face in this world. That your sexual orientation would be used to discriminate against you. So if you're straight, you're going to end up having those who are gay discriminating against straight males and females because they are straight. And the appearance is they are wrong, we are right, and that we should force our indoctrination or ideology of the LGBTQ world on the rest of the world. This is that part where I agree to disagree to disagree to never ever agree. That's why I said even with elections, they have consequences. They do. And to say the least, there are plenty on board here because think about it if we arrested a million pedophiles rapists and murderers <clears throat> given the trajectory of crime increasing at rates never seen before given the shortages of police that means police don't have the time to investigate certain crimes even some police departments are being told now you do not go out on certain calls because we got to conserve gas. So gas is worth more than people's lives. And these are the politicians invoking these policies throughout police departments all over the country. So what you're doing is furthering criminal activity and you're emboldening it. Whether it's trafficker, rapist, murderer, or drug dealer, you're emboldening this situation to spread out of control. This is why kids is being faced with how to cope with being raped, how to cope, how to be a victim. That's what they being taught. Even when growing up, if you were a victim, you was learned, taught. Yes, something may have happened to you, but it doesn't have to define you for the rest of your life. You're told to fight back. Because you wasn't going to let something hold you down for the rest of your life that doesn't deserve the second. That's why I told people, when I'm in this race, I come in authentic. I was told, don't go in my district in a nice suit and all this other stuff. You gotta look like the people in your district. That's what I represent right now. And people are happy to see somebody who's looking after not only them, but their kids when they are working two to three jobs just to put food on the family and keep a roof over their head. They still want to know somebody's speaking for them. Not trying to give them handouts or welfare, but speaking for them and giving them a hand to say, I don't want you to be dependent on a government that has abandoned you. The people that's elected have abandoned you. Now you can stay down and keep calling yourself a victim, or you can step up. Get involved. Push yourself to the next limit. You got one life to live, so do it fighting for exactly what you want your kids to have a future. Fighting for it. Not having it stripped away because they've been sexualized to the point that they've been put on opiates, heroin, crack, or anything that these monsters and animals use to not only victimize them, but make them dependent on a monster. Dependent on a monster instead of dependent 
are family and independent. Independent on what they want to do in their future without having to be worried about walking down the street or us wearing every single day that they leave out the door that something is going to happen to them because the odds is in the criminal's favor, not in those who have been sworn to protect and serve. That's why every American all throughout the community, including myself, when we find out stuff about this, we need to speak up. We need to let our kids know that we are speaking up for them because it's our time to fight just like our parents fought for us. This is what it's about, people. This can be the new normal. And it's already becoming a pattern, policy, and practice that is dictating the core curriculum of our kids that you are more than likely to be a criminal, you're more than likely to be a prostitute, you're more than likely to be a murderer, you're more than likely to be somebody who society doesn't want. But guess what? Society is going to have these monsters because those who wasn't a part or even those who are law abiding was afraid to stand up to them. You go with whoever you fear. We are supposed to fear our God. And as kids, we're supposed to have a natural fear of our parents. If we do something wrong, we are supposed to have consequences. But when the schools is telling our kids, you don't listen to your parents. We are the ones who raised you. We are the ones who's telling you what's right for you. Look at how our schools are ran. Do you think you want them clowns trying to tell our kids how to run the schools, run them into the ground and everyone in it? And then after you're done doing it, you're going to blame somebody else for your responsibility. People pay attention to what's going on here in America. It's a lot deeper than just going to the gas stations or going to the grocery store. Every part of our society has been given up by the very people we vote for. We didn't have these problems before because we had common sense lawmakers from both sides of the aisle to say certain things is too far. Certain things is a line we don't cross, but we will make sure we never get this far down the road. And guess what? We are already down the road, even though people thought we had kicked the bucket down the road. So to America, you have a choice. Back your patriots sooner than later. Because many of us voted for a name more than we voted for their issues or their stances. Because they spent more time running from them than confronting them. That's what leaders do. If you make a decision, you better be able to own up to it and be able to convince people, even though you may not be able to convince nobody when your decision is counter to their line in the sand. So to Patriots, God bless you. Continue to pray for our children and your families because this is exactly what's going on in America today. God bless you and God bless America. Let's continue to fight like hell.